Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about a book uh, from my friend. My friend Wayne Fenlon wrote this. It's uh, Scattered Little Pieces. Uh, Wayne is a massive supporter of the community and I really feel bad getting to this review. This isn't a negative review. Don't click away going, how could he have? No, just hang around. Um, I, I feel terrible because this book released ages ago and Wayne is always, you know, he always reads my stuff as soon as, damn near as soon as it's published, as soon as it's out, as soon as it's available. Um, he's a Patreon of mine. He's a YouTube supporter. This, this, he makes a trailers for my books, just quick stuff with animations on it, um, that, that look fantastic. He does this stuff for free. Um, he truly is one of, one of the very few truly selfless people that I know. Um, and I feel like a douchebag. I'm be completely honest with you. I feel like a douchebag that it took so long to do this, but things kept on popping up. Um, I could give you excuses all day long. Instead of that, I'm going to jump into the review. So, Scattered Little Pieces is a collection of 100 word stories. Let me read you the description, even though I pretty much just told you everything about it. Uh, Scattered Little Pieces. A collection of 100 word stories of twists and unexpected endings. Funny, sad, poignant, shocking, and sometimes absurd. You'll want to read them twice. Sometimes little things are so much more. If you can hear the rain in the background, I apologize. Um, I, I need to get this video up and recorded and done. Um, but I think my favorite part of this is the diversity. Um, the How eclectic this collection is. It says, you know, us funny, sad, poignant, shocking, and sometimes absurd. I think my favorite stories in here were the absurd and the funny. Uh, There's a couple shocking ones that I enjoyed. I, the, the story that stands out the most for me, I think it's important to highlight these things because this is going to be completely subjective. In fact, I believe 100 people could read this book and each one of them have a different favorite story. Um, I think it's that diverse of a collection. Um, it's also that good of a collection. Uh, my favorite one, and the, the title skips, uh, it completely disappeared from my brain, but it was about the tattoos. Um, the tattoo, well, the, the woman getting the tattoos, and every time the tattooist would touch her arm, it would, it would, she, she'd, she'd jerk away, and you'd get this, this line. And then what uh, ended up happening with that. I, I like that was a very clever story. Uh, it was a very clever way to go with it. I had no idea when I started. Now, mind you, none of these stories are over 100 words. So you're going to get your payoff very, very quickly. Uh, one thing I will say is I suggest you read this slowly because if you, anything like me, I started reading one after another, you know, 10, 20, 30 at a time, and they just kind of started blending in together, and I kind of went into zombie mode because I didn't have any one character to pay attention to. What this book is perfect for is a coffee table book or a book that you just have sitting around that you can pick up and read a couple stories and once you're done with it you pick out your your favorites and you go back maybe you reread the ones that you didn't understand so far I've read this book twice um, I read it when it first came out loved it I read it again to refresh my memory because it's a super quick quick read you could probably read it in about two hours um, well me my slow butt would read it in about ten hours but total uh, it, it's it's just all around fun. I, I don't. It's a. It's a nice little piece of fun that you don't see too much nowadays. You don't see drabbles. I believe that's what they're called when they're a hundred words, or maybe those are fifty words. I can't remember. But you don't see too many of those. You don't see too many collections literally bursting with them. This is over. I think it's over a hundred pages of them. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, I did put some some of my favorite ones here in the back. Uh, MySpace, I thought that was a, a very lovely story. Uh, that one guy, uh, I put LOL. Oh, I know what this one, yeah, I know what that one was. And the, uh, another bad part about this is that you can't say too much about the stories because each one either have a twist or, you know, if you tell even the plot of the story, not, that is not really too much of a plot, but if you tell the, you know, where we're, where we're going or what you're doing or the setup or any of that stuff. So, I mean, back here I put uh, Trapped, 
Uh, so the story's name Trapped. I remember that one. Nice twist. I like that one. Um, the kicker was the, the kicker actually made me laugh out loud. You know, when I put LOL in the back of something, even when I type LOL on Twitter, anyway, I'm I'm literally laughing. But I'm I'm easy. Um, I I laugh at a lot of stuff. But uh, Mary's letter was really sad. Um, there, there, there's going to be something for everybody in this collection, and I don't want to harp too much about it. I have nothing negative to say about it. The content is well edited. I think there was one missing question mark the entire time, and that's just me being super, super nitpicky. Um, you're going to miss, you're going to miss things, but it, there was, it was definitely a question, uh, and the question mark was missing, so that, there's your one criticism. If you got to have a criticism, there you go, but it's, it's super fun. Uh, the, the cover is amazing. I'm not sure. Let me see if Wayne made the cover himself. Uh, oh, by the way, this is signed. And now, while we're doing this, I'm going to talk about the giveaway. So while I'm looking through this, if you guys want to go down there into the uh, into the doobly-doo and tell me the time that I started talking about the give giveaway, the just the time that says however many minutes or whatever uh, down there, if you want to tell me, Wayne is going to send you a free, cop free signed copy of his book all the way all the way from across the pond. Um, he lives way over there, but he's going to mail it to you. Um, all you got to do is comment the time signature down there in the doobly-doo, and we're going to, uh, to to get two copies sent out to you from the author himself. Signed, sealed, and delivered. But let me go back here. Yeah, cover photo by Wayne Fenlon. Uh, copyright is Wayne Fenlon. Let me see if anybody else worked on this. This is first edition, August 2020. This book came out in August of 2020, y'all. I feel so bad. I feel, anyways, the book is for Liz, Joe, and Katie. But that's my review of Scattered Little Pieces by Wayne Fenlon. I am not going to say what I would normally say here, which I would love to read something longer from Wayne. I think Wayne is absolutely perfect at what he did here. Um, it is the brevity. It is the, the, the very clever use of wordplay. It's uh, the economy of words. It is that... Uh, I don't know, there's something special here um, that I don't think this type of writing wouldn't work in a longer piece. Um, now, would I read a uh, thousand-page novel from Wayne? Of course I would. Um, ma mainly because he's my friend. Second off, because he can write. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always, I'm always hypercritical of my friends, and I'm less so of strangers. Um, but Wayne has written a beautiful book. Uh, it is something that I will cherish forever, especially since he signed it. It says 2E, uh, and then he, he signed it down here. You can't see all that because it's bright white paper, and there's a bright light up there. But anyways, uh, thank you, uh, Wayne, for uh, sending me the book. Thank you for offering to do the giveaway of two copies, especially since you live over there. If, if you get American, if you get Americans who win, I'm so sorry because it's going to cost you more to, to send the book than it would just to buy the book. Anyways... But uh, have you read Scattered Little Pieces by Wayne Fenlon? Please let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, hated it, felt mad about it. But if you felt any of those any of those ways, let me know in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!